Okay, um, unfortunately some CDs are rogue <laughs> CDs. <laughs> um, now, uh, just to um, digress for a second, the Cocktail Audio um, looks, when you insert a CD, it looks for, it uses the CD ID and then sort of finds a match on the FreeDB database. Now, of course, that uses the, the one online, if you're connected online, and also the one on the, or, or from the installed database. Um, just to um, quickly do that, I'm just, just going to jump to um, setup. You go to CD ripping, and then you go to install FreeDB. Now this is how you install it onto the device. So um, at the moment I have it on, on, on this USB stick um, here and it's known as the um, FreeDB database. So I can access it and of course I can install it. Um, I'm not going to do that but this is how you do it. Just press OK and then it will install it. It takes about 10 minutes. Now this is a, this is a complete installation so um, it will install the um, database um, most people feel it is irrelevant because they are already connected to the internet so why not use the um, internet version really um, most people like to have them both so if it if it doesn't find it on on the internet or for some reason can't connect to the server then of course it could use the um, installed version too um, so I'm just going to jump home, um, skip that jump to the um, main screen. Um, um, so um, I'm using the installed version, uh, pardon me, the internet version. But the CD that I have hasn't actually connected to, to um, either of them and hasn't found the um, metadata. So, uh, I'm just going to select the CD icon, that means I've inserted a CD, press OK, um, as you can see it's got nothing, I've got I've got 10 tracks, um, I intend to rip this to the um, uh, main database but hey, I've got nothing at all, so I'm just going to do it manually. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can just rip it and, and, and then um, um, copy it. Um, to the um, copy the uh, I mean pardon me cop rip it and, and, and then um, edit the information later on so I'm just gonna do it now okay so um, I'm using a keyboard but you can use a keyboard you can or you can just rip it and then edit later okay, okay. so um, press menu and we're just going to rip the whole album okay um, there and I'm going to opt for flak okay now as you can see it hasn't connected and, and there's nothing at all so um, but this is the section I mean this session it's what I enter here it's going to affect the whole album so I mean, as I know the artist and I know the information about the CD, I'm just going to enter that. So um, let's, uh, let's start. So um, it's Rena. Um, okay. Phil Monic, okay. Um, but I know the album, it's just okay. Um, okay, 
stuff in like that. And Since when the CD was recorded, and I, know, um, I would just put it as uh, let's say classical. Okay. And find the artwork. So press OK. Um, you might use digital seven. It's more accurate. As you um, <coughs> copy, just watch out and the right information. See there. Okay. So you can go through them and have a look and see which one is appropriate. Uh, Bear with this isn't, so just go other. Now, if you cancel it, it's going to go back to the uh, screen, but you want to go other just to return to the um, sub screen. So um, I'm just going to go through the list so um, quickly. Um, actually, you find it. Yeah, that's a burn. That's the one. Okay. That's okay. This, I've got the right artist, but I'm going to go for it. Just as soon as that. Let's, let's pick that. <laughs> okay. It's her, so, um, and then, wait, well, just make sure everything's consistent. Um, you ignore the top part because it's relevant. Because what you edit here will affect the whole album. So, just go for it. And press OK, and then it starts to rip. It's ripping. Quickly edit the tracks. Okay, so it's done ripping. Now remember, this is the, the um, one without the metadata. So, looking success, press OK, and then it prompts you to enter the first track. As you can see, it's highlighted. So. I mean, you don't have to use this method, the other means of doing it. You can use the web interface, of course, um, but you can sort of do it through your computer, um, through the browser, and all sorts. But this is, you know, just another way. See, so I'm just going to quickly um, put those in. See. So you can use a keyboard for that, and then you scroll down. And then you save it by using the OK button. It prompts you to you to do the same for the second track. I'm just going to enter um, the uh, quick names. And then down there, we're going to do track three. Track four. And it's like. Of course, you can take your time and do them rather well, but this is just to uh, demonstrate. Okay. 
Hopefully we uh, put the last truck in. Let's go down and save it. There. And of course you can always press return if you don't want to put the track track list. Um, <coughs> just press return to opt out of the um, entering the uh, or rather keying in the information. Um, and it just returns to the uh, CD. But just to verify that we've actually done it right, let's go to the uh, music DB. Now, as you can see, that's right at the bottom there. And of course, we've sorted by album. But just to show you, uh, we're going to sort by let's go, um, let's go, artist album. Okay. So as you can see, she's right here. Press that. Hit that. Voila. See. You can skip, you can see, got everything in different modes. And of course, while it's playing, I can browse, go to Music DB, just to double check. I'm going to display my composer, no. composer slash album. I may not have other ones sorted out, but the ones that I have is better you, and that's the album that we're looking at. And of course, you can always change the art display, as you can see, and that's the one that represents that. So, it makes it quite easy to handle. Okay. Let's go here, the payment is that you can sort by something else, or rather, display. So, you can say uh, just the album, you can show that. Scroll through, mm. just play a different track, for example. Mm. You can switch uh, different, press that, come out. It could be doing any something else, checking something. Press that, it takes you back to its panel. Thank you. I mean, I hope this helps, but you don't have to do it this way, you know. You can always use a web interface, for example. If you um, have your IP address, you can go here and then find your IP address um, here, type it into your browser and use a web interface. Of course, you can always use the, the um, default name. I think it's the uh, service which will be somewhere the host name. So if you type in X30 into your browser, you get your the web interface. I think um, just to uh, uh, those of you that are using the um, file will probably put slash slash, but you know, I, let's not digress. I'm just. Um, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, thank you. Bye. Stop. And go.